Dear students, yesterday I had uploaded first part of the chapter in the YouTube and uh, I had sent the same in the WhatsApp group as well. I guess that was very helpful for you all. So today I want to continue with the second part of the story. So let's begin. While I was wondering about it all, M. Hamel mounted his chair and in the same grave and gentle tone which he had used to me, said, My children, this is the last lesson I shall give you. The order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. The new master comes tomorrow. This is the last French lesson. I want you to be very attentive. Students, here we get to see little Franz was wondering why so much of alteration, why so much of changes. He is witnessing around him that very day. Why so much of silence? Why there is absolute silence? Why elderly people were there in class? They had already completed their studies. Then why they were there? Suddenly, he heard the polite voice of M. Hamel, who revealed the a devastating, the tragic news of discontinuation of French language. He further informed, from the next day, German teachers will be appointed to teach Alsace, Alsacians. Okay, and that was the news which was put up at the town hall. Generally, on the last day, we don't have energy, we don't have uh, enthusiasm, we don't, we just want to relax, isn't it? But this was not the case with M. Hamel. For him, it was in a few hours that he had in his hand. It was the opportunity to give, to instill the information into the heads, into the mind of uh, French people. Therefore, he was over enthusiastic on the last day. He was not like usual uh, uh, people okay, who just ignore their duties on last day. This is another quality of M. Hamel to which we get attracted. And for your information, I'll, I want to tell you that Berlin is the capital of Prussia from where the notice was generated. And because Alsace was now captivated by Prussia, the order had come from there. What a thunderclap! These words were to me. Oh, the wretches! That was what they had put up at the town hall. After getting the information, little boy Franz was very much unpleasant. It was a shocking news for him because uh, this was something he had never expected. He thought that just like usual day he'll go to the school, there will be lots of noise, he will enter, he will sit, he will just <clears throat> waste his time and he'll come back. But that did not happen. After getting the information from M. Hamel, he could understand the reason behind all the odd things that he experienced since morning, right? He was excessively angry now. He called those Germans, those Prussians as villain. And uh, we all hate villains. We know why, isn't it? Because we hate villains because <clears throat> they don't contribute to human society. They are always negative. They always try to harm them. They always try to do something which will not benefit humanity. My last French lesson? Why? I hardly knew how to write. I should never learn anymore. I must stop there then. Oh, how sorry I was for not learning my lessons, for seeking birds' eggs or going sliding on the sar. My books that had seemed such a nuisance a while ago, so heavy to carry. My grammar and my history of the saints was old friends now that I could not give up. Students, here we see Franz started repenting. He started making assessment of his learning. What he has learnt yet. What he has learnt by M. Hamel, who was really dedicated for his students. But he knew nothing. 
he could act, uh, he could assess himself that he knew nothing because every time he played truant every time he bunked classes to seek birds eggs he went to play in the river sar this is a river which is uh, which flows in france okay and uh, ends up in germany and uh, he, this was the place where he used to waste his time but he was very sorry now um <clears throat> he was very sorry because he did not respect learning and uh, he also realized a couple of minutes ago entire study materials were useless for him it had become very heavy he hated all the books history uh, science grammar but suddenly all those materials all those books became very precious for him because he knew that from the very next day it is not going to be with him students oh, one thing i want to add out here why we are considering franz wrong because we know small children they want to play isn't it they are very much fond of playing they are very much fond of going outside and uh, they are uh, full of uh, you know energy enthusiasm they want to you know exercise isn't it they they want to exercise the energy that they have then why we are considering him wrong when he had gone for seeking bird when he had gone for playing in the river is it wrong yes it is wrong why because there is a specific time for doing a specific thing at the time of studying he had to study at the time of playing he had to play so we are considering him wrong because at right moment he did not act in a right way in in place of studying he went to play that is why he is wrong otherwise children should be taken to nature children should be given opportunity to uh, uh, see what they like and what they hate right so here franz was wrong and m hamel to the idea that he was going away that i should never see him again made me forget all about his ruler and how cranky he was here after realizing the importance of books his attention diverted towards the teacher a teacher who had worked in his school in his alsatian school for 40 years 40 years dedicated service he had done and suddenly he had to leave okay see even franz oh, had realized that how much important was the role of m hamel in that school that is why even though initially he you know misunderstood his teacher now he was able to realize okay what he had done for him what he had done for entire community therefore he was very sad otherwise if a person has not changed your life if a person has you know he has no meaning in your life you won't feel bad you won't feel emotional at his leave isn't it but here he was attached to his teacher there was fault in him okay but still that very day he was very sad because of the dedication that uh, m hamel bore till date poor man it was in honor of this last lesson that he had put on his fine sunday clothes and now i understood why the old men of the village were sitting there in the back of the room it was because they were sorry too that they had not gone to school more it was their way of thanking our master for his 40 years of faithful service and of showing their respect for the country that was theirs no more here little friend understood the villagers had occupied the back benches of the class as a mark of respect for the teacher and their mother language it was uh, their way of compensating the loss that they have made 
they were guilty of not attending the school till now and this was the only opportunity they could avail themselves of and after that they knew that they had to be under the rule of german people and whatever they will dictate they had to obey that while i was thinking of all this i i heard my name being called it was my turn to recite what would i not have given to be able to say that dreadful rule for the participle all through very loud and clear and without one mistake but i got mixed up on the first words and stood there holding on to my desk my heart beating and not daring to look up students till now you must have noticed that one after the other friends was having blows okay he was having uh, uh, shocks because the teacher was changing the language will be changed the entire uh, the administrative staffs will change because germans were to occupy alsace uh, uh, provinces alsace government offices from the next day let's see what happens to him now when the child was engrossed in analyzing all the flaws that he had made he was called by his teacher to recite the rules of participle and we know that participle was the homework they had that he had to complete he had to learn the rules of participles which he was not prepared with uh, <clears throat> he wanted to recite it flawlessly because he repented he repented that after that day he will not be able to learn all this thing and he was very sad that till now he had not given importance to his language at all therefore he wanted to do it flawlessly but it was not possible because he was unprepared but still teacher did not scold him at all like usual day he was very polite he was very kind instead of being becoming angry he was pitying a little friends because it was his mistake that uh, he he was never prepared and it was not only friends mistake there were other people who were involved in it who all were there let us see further i heard m hamel say to me i want to scold you little friends you must feel bad enough see how it is every day we have said to ourselves bah i have plenty of time i will learn it tomorrow and now you see where we have come out ah that is the great trouble with alsis she puts off learning till tomorrow here it was understood that uh, friends will never answer properly friends friends won't be able to you know tell fluently the rules of participles but still uh, m hamel asked because it was his duty it was his duty to look after each and every child and that is what he was doing properly right now just like other days he was not able to answer because he had come unprepared now what he had done did he scold him no he did not but he was very sad he was immensely pained to see the you know countrymen not learning not giving due respect to their language not giving due respect to their studies now it was last time and they did not know their mother tongue even now what teacher did he made friends realize his mistakes what he says let us find out he said the teacher said that every day every day and everyone of that particular area that is alsace province procrastinated their work for tomorrow but now it was last day it was you know final day the opportunity to learn had slipped out of their hand because because they had lost all power they had lost their sovereignty now he puts out entire popul he, he sorry he points out entire uh, population of alsace for postponing their work 
he further said that they will be criticized now by those villains those prussians because even after being frenchmen they did not know how to speak and how to write in their language students here you should understand that you know you might ask that how m hamel and other people were communicating when they did not know their mother tongue but let me tell you this is not enough understanding a language just for communication is not enough there are something more to understand for example being an indian do we know everything about india how many of you us can speak our mother language fluently do we know all our literary figures do we know entire history of it certainly no so that is what m hamel wanted french people french uh, his school students to understand okay to learn everything about france that was his motive where they lacked therefore it was last day and they were not yet prepared they were not yet equipped with everything every knowledge of france and which pained him a lot dear students the video is becoming very lengthy therefore i'll be completing this chapter in my next video that is part 3 please wait for that and i hope you uh, are getting some helpful tips from here let me know if you need any improvement in my videos thank you